What's up guys, my name is Zanprez, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel. Today's video is actually a super highly requested video. Today I'm going to be talking about which hive color you guys should be at any point in the game. So today I'm just going to have some pretty fun clips for you guys to watch while I kind of talk a little bit. I also have a pretty big boost prepared in the strawberry field that I'm going to do. So yeah, let's kind of just jump right into this video. So in Bee Swarm, a lot of you guys know this, but I gotta just say it, there are three different hive colors that you can have. So you can have a white hive, which focuses on white pollen, a red hive, which focuses on red pollen, and a blue hive, which focuses on blue pollen, obviously. So that's kind of the basics, but it is a lot more complicated and complex than that. There are a lot of different factors that go into becoming a different hive. So personally, I'm a red hive, so I know a lot more about red hives than all the other different color hives. So if you guys are looking for a place to figure out how to set up your hive, there are a ton of other good videos on YouTube teaching you how to set up different color hives, but I do have a video where I set up a red hive if you guys are interested in possibly going the red hive route. So that's on my channel. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, go check that out. There are tons of other people I know um, Super Williams World, I'll leave him linked in the description. He is a blue hive and he has a great video on how to become a blue hive. Um, I, a long time ago, was a blue hive and I used his video to help me a little bit. But I'm not going to be going over quite as much the hive setup as I'm going over just more of the different elements of the hives. So, all of the hive colors, when you focus on a certain color of pollen, always differ in great ways and quite honestly at first up until I had about 45 bees I did not specify in a specific color I I don't know if that was the right strategy but it worked really well for me the reason why early game going a certain color route is not always the best idea is because you can't really unlock a lot of the items that are really are going to be what get you a lot of honey with a specifically colored hive so what I did was I went with a mixed hive. I had almost every single bee in the game in my hive. Almost every single one of those bees were gifted as well. And I was kind of just moving along. You don't make an insane amount of honey. A balanced hive is not as great as it used to be. But at the earlier stages of the game, a balanced hive is one of the best things that you can have, in my opinion, because it will help you power through all different types of quests. Because I'm a red hive right now, I really struggle with getting blue pollen from my bucko bee quests. So I'm able to do my rally bee quests pretty easily. Um, and stay tuned because I'm going to have a video where I talk about rally bee quests coming up on a later date. Not too sure when, but eventually that video will be coming up. But it's really hard for me to get blue quests done because I don't have many bees that help me farm in blue fields. Before I get into it, I would quickly like to preface this video just saying that I think all of the colors are great. There is not a clear winner all the time because the developer on it is constantly changing how passives work and how the game mechanics are. So all of the hive colors are going to get buffed, they're going to get nerfed, it's just how the game is. Right now, blue is not doing great, but in a couple weeks, who knows, maybe blue will be the best. Right now, red and white are doing pretty good, but maybe soon they will be doing pretty bad. So it's all relative, it kind of depends at what time you are watching this video, depends what types of fields you like to grind in. So yeah, let's kind of just get into all the mechanics, but I do want to say, I do not think that it matters what color hive you are as long as you're happy with your decision. So that being said, that is why I kind of stuck with the Mixed Hive until I got to a higher stage in the game. And the Mixed Hive still does really well, but you typically will not see the top players with Mixed Hives because they're just not as good as they used to be a long time ago. So when you are picking a Hive color as well, you need to keep a bunch of different things in mind. For example, a Blue Hive can be very, very good but there are a couple disadvantages to a blue hive. There are disadvantages with all color hives, but I guess let's start with blue hive. So blue hive is absolutely crazy. I love the blue hive. I was a blue hive for the beginning of the Beesmas event because I needed to pop a lot of bubbles and 
I absolutely loved it. I did have a couple problems with it though, and that was that the Pop Star passive ability on the Supreme Star Amulet. Um, Pop Star is the blue Supreme Star Amulet passive, and I loved that passive, but I had a lot of trouble with it because in order for the passive to be as good as possible, you need to build bloat by popping all of these bubbles. And that can take a really long time, but it can be very re rewarding at the same time. So it kind of depends if you are the type of person that is willing to just sit down and grind for a couple of hours to prepare for a big, big boost. And sometimes it's faster than others. It also depends on many other things such as how many um, tadpole bees you have or how many blue bees that you have. It can all factor in. So. If you are thinking about going the blue route, that is a somewhat disadvantage to some people, but it also is a good thing because you can have extremely high capacities and that means that your bag won't fill super fast. Another disadvantage I saw with the blue hive was that the attack power was extremely low. It is by far the worst attack power in the game, but that doesn't matter to a lot of people. Personally, I had to switch because it really bugged me, especially because I was trying to defeat my level 20 snow bear, so I switched to red. So now that we've kind of moved on from blue, blue is a great color, highly would recommend, um, except for those couple disadvantages. Now I guess let's move on to red. Alright, so red is not a color that I necessarily thought that I would be going with, but I absolutely love red. Mostly because of the huge pollen text on the screen. I don't know what it is, but when I was a blue hive, the pollen text numbers on my screen were not as big as they are when they are a red hive. And I think that's partially because the flames in the field just can in just produce insane numbers of pollen on the field. Um, even though you probably are making around the same as the blue hives at some point, I just think it's really cool to see all of those pollen text numbers on the screen, but really that's just kind of a cosmetic thing. It's not everything about the red hive. I also really like red hive because it does have the best attack in the game, which is great if you're trying to kill your mobs faster. I really, that was one of the main reasons why I chose the red hive. But some of the downsides is Red Hive can be a little bit more expensive to use, especially if you also have the Star Saw passive ability with it, because Star Saw requires Stinger to use it, and Stingers are extremely expensive, and after a while, using Stingers all the time just isn't affordable. So that is definitely a downside of Red. Another downside is your bag can fill up pretty quickly, so there are a lot of more mechanics that go into it you know, you can't have too much red bomb pollen or else your bag will fill too quickly. And that's kind of things that you need to figure out on your own. Um, and you definitely can get help from other people, but it differs from person to person greatly. So I'm a red hive. I would recommend a red hive to anybody, but you know, red hive does have its disadvantages. Now moving on to white hives. Now at the start of this game, I decided that I wanted to be a white hive, but I never ended up following through with it. And it was mainly for one reason, and it was because white hives are extremely expensive to run. And they can produce insane amounts of honey, probably more than a lot of the other hive combinations that you can possibly have. There, I know people that can completely destroy my hive when they have the same level bees and pretty much the same stats for a white hive as my red hive. And that's crazy, but the reason I didn't go with white hive personally is because it requires a lot of gumdrops to use it, and it also requires a lot of stingers, depending if you have star saw or not. White Hive is such a great thing to have. Um, it has the gummy star passive, which is probably the best passive in the game, and it's so cool, but I just always stayed away from it because of how expensive it was. I personally have never tried a White Hive before, so I can't really speak on that. I have a couple friends that are White Hives and they really love it and they're super good at the game. And in the beginning, I definitely wanted to be a White Hive and there's a lot of good white bees or colorless bees that you can have in your hive. So it, it really is all up to your personal preference. So being a different color hive means a lot of different things and Partially, some people will switch hive colors based on their Supreme Star Amulet. So, I have a Supreme Star Amulet series where I talk a little bit more in depth about Star Amulets. Amulets are really important in this game. They're really what hold the entire game together. All of your stats really rely heavily on a lot of your items that you have, your bees, 
but heavily on your amulet. So it's really going to depend what type of amulets you get that affect your color that you go with in the game as well. So I hope this video helped you guys. It's really tricky to tell you what color is the best because it's constantly changing. This video has been highly requested to me and I just kind of wanted to weigh in and give you guys my opinion because I don't think that there is necessarily going to always be a clear pollen winner of what hive is the best color. So it really just depends on what you want to do with your hive. Maybe you like the gummy mask the most so you want to be a white hive or you like the demon mask the most because it has attack and you like the look of it, and then you go with the red hive. So it all really does depend. So that's gonna be about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.